Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Snack Time with Michael Hurst. Perhaps you're wondering why I'm wearing this fancy red shirt. Actually, I'm sure you're not, but uh, I'm wearing it because I have a special guest today. One of my favorite people in the world is going to be on the show. David Harrington from the Kronos Quartet is going to be here. Uh, but before I have David come out, turn up your volume and listen to this. So yes, that is the actual sound of the Weddell seal. Those are the noises it makes to communicate. Um, I love so many unusual creatures. I love some unusual creatures because of the way they look. I love some unusual creatures because of the way they act. Uh, this creature I love because of the sound it makes. It's just amazing that it does this. So let me go ahead and read you some of the Weddell seal. Scientific name, Leptonacotus Weddelli. The Weddell seal lives farther south than any other mammal, inhabiting parts of Antarctica that are within 800 miles of the South Pole. This pinniped, which is a fancy way of saying fin-footed creature, can grow over 9 feet in length and can weigh more than 1,200 pounds. It can also dive over 2,000 feet deep and stay submerged for over an hour. But what really makes the Weddell seal so incredibly unusual are the sounds it makes both above and below the ice. The easiest way to know what they sound like is to imagine the sounds of laser beams being fired or lightsabers being swung in the Star Wars movies. The next easiest way, or perhaps it's easier, is to go to the website antarctica2000.net and listen to samples recorded by Douglas Quinn, Ph.D., who traveled to Antarctica on several occasions and recorded the sounds of this amazing animal using a pair of hydrophones, or underwater microphones. Here's a fun little feeding factoid. Weddell seals mainly feed upon fish, squid, and krill. They have been known to blow air into cracks in the ice to flush out small fish. That is pretty cool. Uh, and then you can see here I have distribution, the coast of Antarctica. And did you know? Humans can easily approach Weddell seals. The hard part is getting to Antarctica. And then I have a little bubble here. I love little bubbles. The Weddell seal was discovered in the 1820s by a British explorer named James Weddell. Unfortunately for the seals, James Weddell also happened to be a seal hunter. Wait, do you guys hear those sounds? Is that a Weddell seal? No, it's David Harrington from the Kronos Quartet. Hey man, how are you? Good to see you. I'm doing great. How are you, Michael? I'm great. Well, uh, you're in California, and I'm here in Connecticut. This is so much fun. Technology. It's, it's amazing to be together this way. So the, the Weddell seal piece, this is such a fun piece. and it, uh, This was really your idea, a piece that you came to me with and said, have you heard this animal? Check this out. And is there a way you could compose a piece of music for the Kronos Quartet that would incorporate the sounds of the Weddell seal? What, what was it about this creature that struck you? Well, the, the sound, I mean, I never saw one before I heard it on a record. And when I heard it, I couldn't believe it because it, it sounded like an electronic instrument. It sounded like so many things all at the same time. And then I found out it was actually an animal. Uh, and that seal is the animal that lives the furthest south on earth of any mammal and has lived there for centuries, and they've been making sounds like this. And that's how they talk to each other. They've been making sounds like that since way before people were around. And I, I just thought it was incredible, and it seemed like a good idea to bring that animal into a concert. And I remember originally, I spent probably a week or so hunkered in my studio writing a piece of music that, uh, you know, was like tr more traditional classical music, probably, you know, notated out and using all my music composition skills. And I remember I sent it to you and you're like, huh, I, I think I maybe I'm hearing something a little more improvised. So I, I kind of ripped up everything I'd done and started over and I came up with this, which is 
more of like a map, you know, and oh, do you have it too. In fact, here, I'll turn it upside down because you can play it that way too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I remember specifically you showed it to Janet, uh, Kronos Quartet's manager, and she looked at it and she was like, wait a minute, even I could play this. And your response was, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was the point. So yeah, the idea is that anybody could play this. We have these five different lines, and the first line at the top is the samples that Doug Quinn gave us. And then there's a line for each member of the Kronos Quartet. And you can see on each of these lines, when it gets to a certain letter, that's the instrument you play. There's the S, which stands for strings. And the larger the letter, the louder, the smaller, the quieter. When you get to a W, that refers to the wooden body of the instrument. And then we have an H. Uh, do you want to tell everybody what the H is for? The H is for harmonica. So... Right. You... Right, and that is a bass harmonica, which is the lowest harmonica in the harmonica family. You also have one of the highest with you, I know, the, the little lady. I have a quartet of harmonicas right here because my quartet isn't here today. So. Right. Well, you know, we're, we're working with what we've got. And then we have a B, and that was because we were really just enamored by a little machine called the Buddha Box at the time, which is uh, this little electronic device that plays more of like a soothing uh, meditation sound that is really not unlike what the Weddell Seals are also doing down there in Antarctica. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fabulous sound, and it... You add all these things together, like the instruments of Kronos and the harmonicas and a Buddha box and your bow and your and you using the instrument in a, a kind of a rhythmic clicking kind of way. And it does add up to something that almost sounds like a wet elf seal. Or it's a collage. I'd like to think of it as a collage of Kronos Quartet and the wet elf seals all together. Yeah, and so I mean, one of the fascinating things about the recordings that Doug Quinn made is you can hear them communicating with each other. I mean, I'm not sure what they're saying. In fact, I actually understand Weddell Seal language, and I heard the original recordings, and what I heard was, Bring me the Kronos Quartet. And there we are. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, right, I got to get it working on this. Um, and, you know, originally the piece was premiered at the Winter Olympics for some event associated with the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. And this idea of having a wintry, cold weather uh, piece of music, which obviously the Weddell Seal. It's so cold. <laughs> David, it's so great to see you as always. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, Michael, and let's have a little more seal sounds. Can you tell what's the seal and what's the strings? No, but I do like the... I do like it. I'll start doing something behind it. So, uh...